the sort of lower finals start the morning. And then as we get through all the D and C finals, then we'll run the B finals and the A finals for most of the most of the votes. So this is the men's novice four, lane one, Connecticut, lane two, Arizona State, lane three, Wichita State, lane four, UC Santa Barbara, lane five, Villanova, and lane six, UC Davis. And right now we have Arizona State and UCSB battling it out in front. You can see that the buoys are lined up pretty nicely, um, evenly across the lanes. So you can just look and see whose bow ball gets um, there first and you sort of know who's in front. When you watch from the side, there's a stuff called parallax. Um, if, you've, uh, if you've heard of that, where it seems like the boats further away um, move slower than the boats that are closer to you, and it just sort of seems like the the ones that come through. But it's just how your how your uh, vision perceives the speed. When you see from here, you can see it's actually uh, the relative speed very easily. Even behind here, um, we can see that. So these crews coming into the thousand fairly soon. Again, nice uh, flat water there. So you can see the parallax right there. And those buoy lines are actually all straight, but they seem like they're converging. Also Renaissance art there. So as we come into the 1000, UCSB in front at 34, uh, with Arizona State three seats or so behind them, then some open water back to lane one in Connecticut, still in connection with Wichita State in lane three. UCSB here rowing at about 32. They're relatively low for a final, but they're out in front. They are nice long strokes though, and they're finishing out together. So they're being taught to row well, which is good. Arizona State also, you can see a little bit higher rating here. quite higher 40 and 41 they're in the final so they're trying to get up there but in the end the UCSB uh, stuff is just more efficient so they're able with a lower rating to stay in front of the crew from uh, Arizona State which is also spending spending more energy just to try and be up there but still, Arizona State pushing up a little bit. So we'll see if this, if that 40, 41 was some sort of flutter that they took. Let's see where their rating is now. No, they're still up there at 40. They are going. They're just trying to get back into UCSB. We'll see how UCSB responds. They're still at 31, nice and long. Haven't seen anyone look over yet, but they're definitely pulling hard on those blades. Bit by bit here, Arizona State getting back in a little nicely. They're now about two seats behind, but there's gonna, there's still a long enough way to go that there's a little price, I think, to pay for being up at 40 the whole way. They're still at 41. This is just amazing. They're just going. Little jackrabbits there trying to get up and just move. But you can see uh, <clears throat> less connection on the water, less power being pushed per stroke. So that's the, that's the fundamental math. And now we have UCSB responding and they're up from their 31 to a 35, moving back out and just saying, not today, not today, Arizona State. So UCSB opening up almost some open water here. So they've taken a uh, good boat length in say the last 20 strokes as they lifted their rating up. And the boat has actually smoothed out a little bit as a result. Sometimes you are able to just keep the boat moving and they're lengthening about a little bit to 34. So UCSB taking this probably easily now 
Arizona State still attacking very hard. And they're up at, let me check that, 43? 41. Now they are in the red buoys, so maybe that's their sprint. A great race going here for third between Connecticut out in lane one and uh, Villanova and UC Davis here within uh, not even a seat of each other. UCSB comes across the line. This is going to be Arizona State second. And then we have three crews that are going to come in. It looks like Connecticut is going to get third. And then Villanova just barely, I'm sorry, UC Davis barely popping out Villanova. And then finally Wichita, Wichita State coming. So this is the last race, so people are going to lay it down. That was a, quite an adventure with Arizona State up at 40, 41, 42. Cannot uh, accuse those guys of not going after the race, that's for sure. But a nice response from UC Santa Barbara, who was rolling a nice comfortable 31 and then took it up to 35 to go away. So that was the D final of the men's novice four, and now we're in the C final for places 13 through 18.